Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I'm creating a rustic looking Christmas card. This also reminds me of a primitive type design. This is not something that's typically in my style, but I admire the look, so I thought I would give it a go on a stack of Christmas cards. I'm going to be stamping today with Concord and Knight's Silent Night Bundle. This is a unique bundle with stamps and dies, and the dies both either crop the image or they pierce the paper so that you can add some fun stitched elements. I've kept these two pieces together and cut everything else away because of the label itself has an outline that cuts the paper and then an inner layer that actually makes those pierced pieces. So if you want to just use it to cut away, then just simply remove all the metal dies from each other. Off camera, I have already stamped and embossed all of these labels and then I've added the hand stitching. And I stitched these while I was on a video chat with one of my best friends, just to keep my hands busy. It really does go that quickly. Now on the back of the stitched label, I've added some micro pour tape. You could use washi tape or purple tape, painter's tape, scotch tape, any tape that works for you, just to keep it in place. Now I'm going to give this background some interest. You could keep this just the way it is, maybe add some splatters. That's the thing I like about this particular type of project is you can make it as progressive or as simple as you as you feel like putting the time into this project. The stitch label in itself is a, is a nice piece for a handmade card. But there, we're going to add some stamped interest in the background. So I'm taking all of these little pieces that are from the Silent Night stamp set. And there are loads of little pieces. And I'm placing them around. And then I'm going to pick them up all at once with the Misty door. And this is the mini Misty that we're using today. And I'm going to ink them up with almond butter ink. And this is from Altenew. It's part of one collection, fam a family collection of inks. I think it's called uh, Delectable Delights. I will make sure to link it in the video description. So I'm just looking for a tone-on-tone -tone look. Uh, could go a little lighter with another shade, but I wanted the images to be seen. And I'm now speeding up the video because I want to show you exactly how quick and easy it is to make a whole stack of Christmas cards. Just load them all up into your stamp positioner and stamp, stamp, stamp. I, I think I made like five of these, but I, I could seriously keep going. <laughs> I'm adding some double-sided foam tape to the back of each one of those labels, and I'm going to place it on the card. Now, this is also a place where you could stop and you could just keep the card as it is, or we could add another step. So here's a look at my new Tailored Expressions blender brushes, and I have to tell you, I am loving these brushes. I'm going to work with the brushes and together with the Waffle Flower Water Media Mat. This mat is made of silicone, so I'm able to pick back up all the color that I'm spreading out on it. It is a wonder, and it makes me feel like I'm stretching my craft supplies by not wasting any ink. So I'm simply taking some of that same almond butter ink and going around the outside edge just to give it a, a little color variation. And then here is a white colored pencil that I'm adding a little bit of color to the inside of some of those images. Super, super simple. Now we can even take it another notch and add embellishments. These are some blue and white sequins, and I can just add a couple here and there, and it's jazzed up even more. Some people for Christmas cards keep it simple, and you can see how this project is progressing to be even more busy. Just so that you could see what the look is, and because I had the camera already in place, 
This is Tea Dye Distressing from uh, Tim Holtz. And I am adding very subtle color around the edges and making sure that some of that white area also got the color on it. I hope that you have enjoyed this particular project. It will give you some great ideas for Christmas cards. And I have all of the products linked in the video description and on my blog as a free PDF. I'll see you guys next time. Hi, my name is Trip. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.